Hello, my name is Peter Rossthorn and uh, Lee Blackall uh, asked me to uh, do some speaking at the conference, the day-long conference that you're doing about assignments and assessment. Um, mostly what I want to talk about uh, briefly is the work that I've been doing around uh, open assessment and open accreditation. Um, this work is sort of follow-up work to, to stuff that I did with open educational resources a number of years ago and got to the point where I, I believe that what there was a great amount of open educational resources being created um, but what we really needed is some open assessment and open accreditation uh, methods uh, that could also be used in the open for open learning um, so where it ended up returning was when open badges or Mozilla uh, started to take on this open badges initiative which is a way for providing accreditation uh, very similar to the merit badges or sort of scout badges uh, of the past um, and the idea being is, is that you know you do some work and you, you earn a badge for for accomplishing something well what this has been sort of grown out into is the ability to issue uh, badges that are digital badges and can be displayed on the internet and and as a digital artifact but the neat thing about the digital world is it also allows you to attach sort of criteria and uh, evidence towards your earning of a badge so um, there's quite a, a, a comprehensive metadata structure with the Mozilla Open Badge um, that it works very well for validity and for endorsement and for 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 creating the badge in such a way that it, it's comprehensive from a criteria perspective, but also provides attributes where the badge can be issued to an individual, uh, given that they have provided evidence that meets the criteria. Um, so how does this sort of fold into the assessment? Uh, part of this so you may have a, an open credential that you can issue but the next uh, big hurdle in my mind is how do you assess if somebody has completed uh, all the criteria for being awarded a badge or uh, some sort of accreditation um, and this is an area where I've started to explore the idea of sort of peer-based assessment um, or in a certain circumstance uh, what I consider flipped assessment well, this is the idea is, is how can we start sort of gathering assessment information about somebody on a learning journey and have that information coming from their peers um, or even in some situations somebody who is earlier on the learning journey evaluating the work of somebody further down the learning journey and and bringing that into the uh, the assessment or the comprehensive assessment of the individual so this is an area of sort of peer-to-peer -peer assessment or flipped assessment that I'm going to spend a little bit more time exploring. Um, I've got a, a number of writings and I've also um, running some experiments in P2P University uh, where we're looking at the idea of using flipped assessment. So uh, we'll continue on and I will get more into what I've done with sort of peer-to-peer -peer and flipped assessment.